Hello, so this is my video for the advanced programming class. This is mission 10, which consisted on creating a client on Windows based on a service and creating a client on Linux based on a daemon that will then record all the application the user was running on either Windows or Linux and log them to a server. So what we have here is the, ser is the service code of the Windows part. So here's the important thing, which is the run function. This code was provided by the teacher. So the important part we're looking at, it's running this part, which is the service. Here we use uh, uh, some system calls, which is the task list, and then we pipe it to the sort. So we get the task list sorted. After that, we open a file, which will be log all the applications running and then here we just get rid of all the background applications because we just want the first applications and this service is going to be executing every hour so it will log every application the user is running every hour into the log file so after that we need to compile this so in order to do that we go here where we have it we create a bash and so we're going to compile now the service code so <clears throat> we just make sure and that we compile and we give it a name which is service or service so those are some warnings but everything's okay we just make sure yeah everything is fine so after this, we're also going to need a service installer, which was also provided by the chip, by the teacher. You can look it up here. But what we want is the executable. So the executable is this one. Uh, we'll put the executable of the service in the disk C, just so the program can find it easy. Yeah, so we click on continue. After that, we go back to the installer. So in the installer, what we want to do is run the installer and then here select install service and then name the service. So I'll use some A's just to have it on the top. So also A's. And then we need the path of the executable. This is the path for the system executable. So we go back we find it here, so we copy the address, we provide it here, which is servicio.exe, and then it, cre it creates the service. We can now terminate this, but the service isn't running yet, so we need to go to services, and here we can see our service, our little service, so we need to click on initiate. So after this, it will initiate and it will start logging every hour the file with the applications you're using. So it isn't logging it here. So as you can see, the service code logs it to Windows System32 and apps locked. So we go to Windows and then we go to System32. Just be really careful. And then here we're looking for apps locked. And here we can see the text file and it's logging the important apps that I'm using right now. So after this, what we want to do, this will be running every hour for the whole day, so no, don't worry about it. And after this, what we want to do is create the client part. So here I have the client part, which will take care of looking for this file that the service produces every hour, and it will open it and send it to my server, which I'll show you in a minute and that I have in a minute in my Linux virtual machine. You'll need to make sure this address is from your virtual machine and also you're using the same port. So what we want to do now is compile the, the client. So in order to compile the client, we use, use gcc client.c slash o, the name, which is client.exe. And we need to use this library ws2 underscore 32 which is for windows and then we can see it compiles we see it stirs it overwrote the last one so now what we also want to do is have this client 
copy it in the same place just for just to make it easier so after this what we want to do is go to the task scheduler oh well now that we have the client we will schedule a task to send this log file which I showed you before to the server but in order to send it to a server we need to create the server so here we have the virtual machine which will have uh, both the server and the daemon too so now we already have the service running which is running on Gala Network but now we also want the daemon here's the code for the daemon but the important part it's here here you're getting uh, the list of all the all running apps and you're also sorting them and getting just the unique ones so also here's the client and this client will get just the unique apps and it will sell them it will sell send them to this direction which will be the direction of the server in this port okay so let's go to a terminal so here we are um, let's start in this part so here we have here we have the daemon we just now have to run the daemon which will lock all the files so another one will create the server and now the server is waiting and finally we're also going to create here well we can now schedule the tasking windows so we'll go to the task scheduler and in here we'll, we'll look for a task that I had already done which is app, application logger or log applications log applications here will enable will will go to properties and we need to give this uh, configuration so execute when the user is logged in and also execute with highest privileges uh, the triggers we're going to edit them so daily just for testing purposes repeat every five minutes every day enabled okay so after this here's what will it will execute so we just click on examine and here it's the client part and just making sure so conditions there are no conditions and configuration uh, you want to click these ones and finally the history but we don't have it yet so now we need to enable the application well the the task so now we'll enable the task and we'll wait for it well, we can be free, but I think I'll wait execute it. And well, let's now go to the part in Linux. And here, in order to execute the client, what we want to do oh, so the daemon is running, it's running every 10 seconds. Okay, so what we want to do here is uh, go to crontab. So in current app, I have commented this, and this will do every seven minutes called the client. So, but in order for it to, well, in order for it to execute right now, what I want to do is just uh, execute the client and also execute the other one. So let's just do that. But okay let's just see if this one is working okay so here we can see the current app is running and that it started on uh, on this time So here we also have the server running and we can execute the client and we'll see that the server received something 
and here we can see that these were all the all the running apps these are just the unique ones which are already sorted and don't have the background processes and this one is the file finally locked to the server so this is the part for Linux and the part for Windows you can just execute it and it will send it and we can go here and we see another one and this is the Windows part and I think that's all for this time so thank you and see you next time